Well, hello friends, it's Amy Frilici with the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio, and today I cannot wait to show you my latest class to go that we're offering. It features, this is a beautiful stamp set called First Frost. You'll find this stamp set in our holiday catalog. I think it's super versatile because it's got, for me, some kind of um, fall, winter looking flowery images, but I think they also could work really well like spring, summertime as well. And then some great sentiments. The first one here is congratulations. Here's another one that says, here's to a season filled with warmth, comfort, and good cheer, and then wishing you all the best. So just a great, like I said, very versatile stamp set. And then the frosted bouquet framelits coordinate, of course, perfectly with the stamp set. I'm gonna pop that open. You will see a lot of the images that are in the stamp set can be die cut with these framelits. And probably one of my favorite things about this framelit set is this label framelit. It's actually two. There's one that's a little bit smaller and then another one that you can layer behind it that's a little bit larger. So great, again, very versatile set of framelits too. And then I'm going to show you the cards and then I'll tell you about the different options that are available. So you're going to make two of each of these cards in each of the options, okay? So the first card is a congratulations card. It's got the beautiful first frost designer series paper, some of those frosted epoxy droplets, and then the, the um, just all of the imagery from um, the stamps and then the framelits that cut them out perfectly, of course. Here's one, another card called Wishing You All the Best with some of the fun. Um, that's a vanilla and copper ribbon. It's gorgeous, super shimmery and sparkly. And then another card, this one says, Here's to a season filled with warmth, comfort, and good cheer with those really beautiful kind of deep tones. And I do always um, stamp on the inside of the card too, so that you can write on it, because it's a little bit dark, right? If you didn't put that white paper in there, it'd be a little bit hard to write. Um, but another, just another gorgeous card. And then this one is a fun, like a fun, fun fold card. So it's got kind of that, oop, look what's inside. You can't tell from the outside. And then this one also says, wishing you all the best. Now, obviously you can change up the sentiments for whatever your needs are. That's just how I've designed these. So two of each of those, four cards, eight total then. Um, let's see, so let me tell you, options. Option number one includes the first frost stamp set, the frosted bouquet framelits, and then four cards, two of each of them, so eight total, plus the PDF tutorial, and I'm gonna throw in a bolt of the gold 1 8 inch cord. Can you see, super sparkly and fun. It's the cord that we used on that card right there. So that's for free with option number one. Um, option number one is $79. Then option number two is just the stamp set, not the framelit. So the first frost stamp set, two of each of these cards, eight total, plus the PDF tutorial. Um, that option, oh, and the frosted and clear epoxy shapes. I forgot to mention in both of them, option number one and option number two, you get a full pack. Now you can see I've used, here are the frosty epoxy droplets, and then here are the clear. You can kind of see the difference. So you get a full pack of each of those in both option number one and option number two. But option number two, with just the stamp set and the frosted and clear epoxy shapes, plus the cards and the PDF tutorial, that is $47. Then option number three is if you already have the stamp set and the framelits, make sure that you have the stamp set. I'm gonna do your die cutting for you, you know, all the parts and pieces so you don't necessarily have to have the framelits, but you do need to make sure to have the stamp set so you can do your stamping. So option number three is if you already have the stamp set um, and it doesn't include the framelits, it's just the frosted and clear epoxy shapes and then the make and take supplies for two of each of these cards, so eight total plus the PDF tutorial, that option number three is $29. Now option number one, two, and three are available for studio pickup or if you need them shipped to you, it's an additional $7 shipping fee. Then let's see, option number four is if you just want the PDF tutorial, that option is always available. So even after the RSVP deadline has passed, you can still get the PDF tutorial. That one is always $15. And then the last option is option number five. So that's for anyone in my downline in the Inkspired Stampers group. You can get the make and take supplies for all eight of these cards. You're gonna wanna buy your own stamp set under your own demo ID so you can get your discount. I'll give you all the parts and pieces to do the make and take so you do your own stamping. That option is $12 for all eight cards. Um, let's see, what else do you need to know? Oh, stamp ink pads. 
So we used a number of different ink pads on here. You're gonna love because these all coordinate really, really well with all of the designer series paper, that first frost designer series paper as well. So we have the soft sea foam ink pad, uh, gray granite ink pad, mint macaron ink pad, tranquil tide ink pad, uh, pear pizzazz, and then blackberry bliss. Um, okay, so registration ends on Friday, October 19, and then the expected shipping date of all kits is October 31st. So Halloween, those packages will be going out to you. So let me know if you have any questions. I'd love to get you one of these to-go kits shipped out to you at the end of the month. Um, I think that's all I need to tell you guys about. So have a great day. Um, again, let me know though if you have any questions. Um, I'd love to get you signed up for one of these to-go kits this month. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, everybody.